Alright, how's it going guys? Welcome to this Let's Look At of Inverses. Once again, in the, the effort for full disclosure, I did receive this game copy for free. <clears throat> this game is $15 on Steam. And I believe it's also on the PS4 market. I'm not sure how much it costs there. I would assume also $15 though. This game, it's a lot of fun. It's even more fun if you have people to play it with, which I sadly at the moment do not. Um, also, I hope it's not too loud because there's no well, well, there's no option to actually lower the volume. You can only turn the music on and turn the music off, basically. So hopefully it's fine. It's a pretty simple game. I'm this little like black square. I can only move over the uh, white squares, and I have to shoot the red squares. If they touch you, you die. And you have three lives, and I do believe that you can get more lives than just three. Okay, I guess I hit all of those. Yeah, whenever you hit a square, any other red square in their, like, little influence there also explodes. Which is what gets you those really, like, cool chains. Oh, uh, you can hold the button down. Oh my god. I'm playing it with a controller right now, so I move with the with the control stick. I shoot with uh, A, B, X, and Y, and you know the direction that I want to shoot. If I hold down the button, it does that little spin, and then I shoot three out instead of just one. As useful as that might seem, it significant it shoots significantly slower than normal, so. It's, uh, there's, there's times for every shot, that's what I'm trying to say here. The multiplayer is, oh, well, I died. That's about how long some of these usually last. I have, obviously, as you can see at the top right, I've done a lot better at some point in my life. I don't know how that ever happened. So my normal shots are these white ones. Those recharge over time if I just kind of let it sit like that. But when you kill an enemy, they drop these red ones, which fire a lot faster. I feel like that just has some more strategy with the, the whole the multiplayer aspect. This multiplayer, it's like player versus player, obviously. So uh, you kind of just have to shoot uh, each other instead of these other enemy squares. Uh, you do get an extra life at 20,000 points, I believe. I don't know if you get another one at 40,000 points. I've never quite made it that far. And even if you, like, charge up the shot, no matter what happens, um, your bullet explodes the second it hits one of the red squares. Okay, I guess I can't hit that guy. Oh. Alright, let's, let's try to do better here. And then, the better your chain, I believe, is also the better your multiplier. Or the more chains you get, the better your multiplier is, something like that. I don't, I don't quite understand how that works quite yet, I haven't played enough of the game. I've only played about, maybe like an hour or two of it, I believe, something close to that. Uh-oh. And as you can see, they kind of rebuild the the black spots as they move, which kind of limits uh, what you can do. The white ones, they shoot at you. I'll let one of them shoot, because it also creates that as they shoot. So it's very important to get rid of them pretty much as soon as you can. Oh, come on, get some more. I do prefer the red ones, honestly, to shoot rather than the regular ones. Just, I don't know, like, the speed of it just feels so much better. The game is also not very easy to kind of talk over, but it's, it's a lot of fun. Like, I genuinely am having a lot of fun with this game. I do wish I had more friends to play it with. I think you can play with up to four players. If I'm not mistaken. 
there's like it's both local and online like don't think it's only local multiplayer you can play online against other people uh oh extra live okay so I get another one at 50,000 points not 40,000 that's understandable as you can see there I can shoot their their other guys shots I'm actually gonna stock up on ammo before I kill him oh these guys are faster okay I ran out of like ammo completely there I was in a really strange spot Oh fuck! I got hit. I'm, I've noticed that when something goes wrong in this game, everything goes wrong. Like, it just starts to go wrong really fast. Because since I died, I lost my multiplier, so I'm getting significantly less points now, which makes it harder to get uh, extra lives again. Oh, well, he touched me. A little sad. Oh, I didn't even see that guy down there. Oh, no. <laughs> see, this is what I mean, that once something starts to go wrong, everything just kind of starts to go wrong. And also, once you, like, decide on a... God, oh my god. Once you decide on a direction to shoot, you can't, you can't change it. Like, once you start charging up to the left, I can't be like, oh, I want to shoot up now. Oh, fuck, these guys have two... Two health each. One charge isn't good enough, right? I guess it kind of is if you can hit them with both. Multiplier up. All right. Oh, and I'm dead. And the, obviously, the better that you do, the, the that's how you unlock these other maps. As far as I'm concerned, there's only these five or six. I'm sorry. I only have the first two unlocked, so we're going to choose the globe one, which is, as you can see by my points up there, significantly more difficult than that first one was. Also when you start charging, you can release the button early to fire only one, if for whatever reason you need to fire like at that exact moment. So you don't lock yourself to the... Uh, like the two time, the, the triple shot, whatever, when you click the button. Which also, it's a little frustrating at times. Because I think I have it fully loaded and I don't, so. Who knows? It's all good though. These guys seem to just be moving sporadically, they're not actually chasing me. I don't know if that's by design or what's going on here. Maybe they are moving towards me, they're just doing it at like this weird angle. Oh, I ran out of ammo. Yeah, I think they might just be focusing on actually... Like, full filling up the whole board again, so I can't go anywhere. Oh, why he spawned on me? Well, I almost beat my high score here, so... That's good. Oh, that was close. These are a lot harder to hit because, like I said, they're not moving necessarily towards me. Well, new map unlocked. There we go. I think to unlock this map, I have to play the castle map. Oh, this is weird. I mean, it's cool, but weird. Oh, and my shots stop at the... Uh, at those borders. Oh, but wait. What? Oh, I'm on both sides. Okay, this is. This is slightly very trippy. Does that mean I can just go through. Oh. Does that mean I can go through, like, the side of the map there? I 
I think that's what it means. Oh no, never mind. Okay, I understand. I understand. That's me being silly. So like the middle of the map is where like the line gets drawn again. some more ammo pretty soon life lost oh man this is this is really really trippy though I'm just glad I actually don't have to watch out for two of the little squares trying to get hit it's the same square So 10,000 points is about that much of the next map. Uh, right now, let's let's check out. This is what the versus mode looks like. It's one versus one or two versus two. I'll guess I'll, I'll do one v one and just see if I can find a lobby. We found Filippi. Okay. Ready. Go. I'm the I'm the white one. Okay. We got him. Okay, he's getting a lot more aggressive this time. Alright, nice shot. Oh, that's an interesting amount of lag there. I hit him? I guess I hit him. You can create like this nice little fort for yourself where, where you know he really can't hit you. And like I said, once you see them lock in to a certain direction, you can kind of know that Oh, it's first to three and then it changes the map? Okay. Uh oh, we're both out of ammo. I'm locked in place here. I can't actually move out of this, this row. What? I knew he was aiming right. I didn't want to move that far up, though. I just need to do what he did and just kind of lock him into one path here. Okay, this lag is not its not doing it for me <laughs> very well, so... That was just my own fault. Yeah, so that's it. I'm gonna just exit from there. And that's gonna do it for this. Let's not look at it. It's a little shorter than the other ones, but... I feel like if I had more friends to play with, I could probably show off a little bit more, but... That's pretty much it. I guess I can show you the we do locally. There's a lot more maps in the in the local department than there are in the uh, like single player mode. But for now, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time.